The sheer amount of lyrics is new to Shirley. I can't give it a performance, you know. I can't. It's, it's, it's words, 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 words. I mean, maybe there's some bits that we can take out. Maybe there's some things that we can just take out and release it. I mean, you can't do that on stage. I would... I think, yeah, I, I think we'd have to... I would bring it all in like that. We, we would have found to a way, I think, at the end of the rehearsal for her to understand the song. And we made a little trim of the, the very last chorus. We just cut a little bit out of that, which seemed to really help the shape. I know this heart. And what was fascinating was watching the repetition. Repetition caused some little cog to sort of go into place. I know this time's forever. The worst and forbidden. This time. And after a, only about three or four times of singing it all the way through, suddenly it became her song. It stopped being Gary's song, if you like, and it became her song. It seemed to just gel. This time. In 2007, she played the coveted Sunday afternoon legend slot at Glastonbury. This strange thing to call there's this electricity in the air, you know, and I was, I was away with it. I got caught up in it. So this song is for all you big spenders, OK? Something about that, as an orchestra starts to actually get itself together, starts to tune itself up, and, and they're just doing a little, having a little look at some of the bits and bobs that they were going to be playing later. There's always that. I know I feel that sort of element of, you know, a little frog in my throat and excitement and, and all that sort of stuff. Could we could we put a sforzando piano crescendo on that last E that we hit, that last chord? Well, can we just play the last four bars again? We have to rehearse really quickly and make instant decisions. I had a little rehearsal yesterday, so we were able to go through most of the stuff. But obviously today, this afternoon, it's critical. We've got three, three and a half hours to rehearse the whole concert. So we can't do everything and you know, go into the nitty gritty detail. I have to rely on the professionalism of the orchestra. And with this orchestra, I know I can rely. Are you sorting out your choreography? Yeah. Oh, three. We should never rehearse it. Can we just play from uh, eight, eight before letter I, please? So we finished our rehearsal. Now we've got a couple of hours before we actually go live. I mean, there's a, a few little moments where I'm going, oh, I've got to remember that, and I've got to remember that. A few little places, that, I, little corners that I know might trip us up. And I don't want us to trip up, obviously, because we're live. And we can't, we don't have the luxuries. No retakes, no retakes. There's always the, the sort of five, ten minutes before, and then you get out there, and you know it's live, and you start, and it's all hopefully fine. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I have a clock down here which is telling me it's two minutes to eight. We have a three minute news. Ten hours. News so, news. He just said we're live in two minutes. We're not live. We're live. Are we live? <laughs> we're live! Um, please welcome Big Chino, Mr. Mike Dixon! Hey. Music 
we've got 15 minute interval, ladies and gentlemen. 15 minutes only. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. <laughs> Here we are, it's kind of, that's a one only event. This evening was the only time that concert will ever be performed. We never rehearsed it all the way through with all the links and everything. The only time we've ever performed it is between eight o'clock and 10 o'clock tonight. That's what these shows are like. I mean, it's, it's, it's a brilliant joy to be part of it, but it's also quite stressful at the time. And right now I feel like going and having a nice large glass of wine.